After a week without very important communication services, some people living in the Mate 1 area of Mingo County have now seen their services restored. And we learned from a Frontier spokesperson, though, this was because of something intentional. It was because of a copper theft. Yeah. It happens all too far too often. Others in the area are still waiting to get their service restored. Mm -hmm. News Channel 3's Miley Pinchock spoke with an employee who says the outage is really impacting business. The sweet sounds of a telephone call Hello. and cards swiping for payment. Bringing up to one thing. Important communication services are back on for some customers in the Mate 1 area of Mingo County after about a week. A Frontier spokesperson tells us the outage was caused by a copper theft. And as of Wednesday morning, the spokesperson told us service has been restored for those impacted by the outage due to the copper theft. But across the train tracks at the Mate 1 Public Library. No, there's no dial tone, no ringing. Employees are still waiting to hear a dial tone. But it did that yesterday, too, and it didn't go through. And fax information. You'll be standing here all day if you're going to wait on it. <laughs> Kathy Belcher works at the Mate One Public Library. She says they've been without important communication services for over a week now, creating problems for people who rely on faxing their timesheets here. They can't get paid if they don't get their timesheets in, and now they can't do it today either, and they will probably have several people come in to see if it's back up. Kathy says the library makes some money from faxing, which adds up and goes back into the library. I haven't made any money in eight days on faxing. Hoping to restore their services as soon as possible. The people really need it. Really, we're letting a lot of people down. So hopefully, the sooner the better. Inmate One, Marley Pinchock, WSAZ News Channel 3. A uh, Frontier spokesperson says they are working on getting an update for us. In the meantime, when it comes to the cable theft, the spokesperson says it's a, a big issue countywide in Mingo, and they're offering up to $5,000 for anyone who provides information that leads directly to the arrest and conviction of anyone involved in this theft.